traditional fossils. If evolution were true, we'd have crocodiles. Now, you may laugh because we, you know, this is like a pretty silly picture, right? The idea of a crocodile. But you would be surprised at how many times people have actually used this argument to explain or to declare evolution can't be true. We don't have these. The problem with this is that that's not evolution. Evolution would never predict anything remotely like a crocodile. That's because evolution, that splitting off, does not occur as a crocodile becomes a duck. Okay? It splits off long, 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 long time ago when crocodiles and ducks shared a common ancestor. And that's a really important concept. See, this is really how that splitting off occurs. At those nodes where those lines connect, that's the common ancestor. And everything else are transitional fossils. And we actually really do have a lot of transitional fossils. This is just one example. This guy, these, tra re these real transitional fossils occur when two lineages stop interbreeding. When they can no longer produce viable offspring, they're no longer considered the same species. This is one example. This guy's 375 million years old. He had gills and scales like a, an aquatic species, but he also had ribs, a flexible neck, and a crocodile-shaped head that you only find in land species. The real point about transitional fossils is this. Can you point to the exact, exact place where it stops becoming blue and becomes red? And you can't. And that's how evolution works. There is not one single species that gives birth to another species. There's not one mother with a child that looks completely crazy. That doesn't happen. Evolution would never predict anything like that. Instead, it's gradual change over thousands and thousands of years. In reality, all species are transitional. There is no scientific, there is no such thing as a missing term, or as a missing link scientifically. That's no such thing. It doesn't exist. That's a, that's a non-scientific term. Because we're all just points on a continuum.